Dear, dear, dear. Please join me in welcoming the Chief Product Officer at eBay, R.J. Pittman. All right, a celebration of individuality, a stirring call to shop vibrantly. This is eBay, and we are transforming every aspect of our business, from the brand to customer service, and everything in between. Our mission is to find your version of perfect, no matter what that is, and no matter what country it might exist in. But to do this at scale, commerce has to get a lot smarter. This is a top priority for me, and a top priority at eBay. And in this presentation, I'm gonna show you how we are putting AI front and center as a driving force to make this happen. eBay is a thriving global marketplace, but global isn't something we do, it's who we are. In fact, the very first transaction on eBay crossed borders back in 1995, true story. And now more than 58% of our business is transacted outside of the United States. So if you still think of eBay as an auction site selling used goods, think again. 81% of everything we sell is new, 81%. 88% of all of those items you can buy instantly. And there's all of the retail standards. Guaranteed shipping, fast shipping, price matching, returns, and even authentication for special items. So, you might ask, well, what does all of this have to do with AI? I submit everything. Take a look at this. In just the past two years, AI has become more pervasive than ever. And some of it you might find actually pretty interesting. I pulled a few headlines that cut across a broad spectrum of impact that the technology is having in our world today. And boy, is it moving fast. Take a look at this first one. A group of AI scientists trained in AI on 8,000 impressionist works in the Renaissance period so that the AI could paint like Van Gogh. And it does. And every painting that it creates, it gets better on its own, in software. It's amazing. Next one, happening right now. AI chips in your smartphone today. It's in the iPhone 8, you heard about the Bionic chip. It's a cool name, but it actually is very important. Pixel 2 from Google, same thing. Machine learning right on the device, breaking down barriers to an entirely new capability and computing processing power right in the palm of your hand. This is why computer vision, augmented reality, and virtual reality is going to get pervasive as well because we are arming all of our devices with the capability to drive AI from virtually anywhere, including a smartphone. Are you kidding me? It's moving that fast. This used to be a job for supercomputers not less than a decade ago. Now it's on a cell phone. Next one. AI is not just for the tech industry. It's not just for commerce, not just for retail. It's touching all industries. Transfor transportation, chief among them. Self-driving cars, you heard all about it, but you might not have heard about the self-learning automated manufacturing lines that are creating these cars. Yes, it's in manufacturing, it's everywhere. 
One of my favorites, the latest achievement in AI gaming. Used to be the penultimate challenge was, could your AI beat the grandmaster in chess? Now, that has been taken over by Google's DeepMind that has dethroned the grandmaster in Go. Go is a 2,500-year-old 25 board game that's a little more complicated than chess. How much more complicated? 10 to the 200th times more complicated. And in just about less than a year, it's beat everybody that's ever played the game. And in fact, all of the Go champions have gathered up and teamed up against DeepMind and have still yet to beat the software. And perhaps this headline says it all. AI will bring about the biggest transformation in human history. It's already doing it. You can see it in these examples. And those are just a few of the many that are transforming our world right now. And what does this transformation look like if I charted it on a graph? It looks like this. The mother of all industry inflection points. That's where we're standing right now. It's bigger than the web and it's bigger than the mobile revolution combined. Now, here's the bad news. A couple of stats on the side here. What that tells me is 70% of us will be artificially brain dead in 2020. 70%, only 30 make it through. So part of my job here is to spark the awakening, spark the movement. Let's make sure we're not in that 70% or that we bust that statistic apart. Because in 2020, if we are not engaged in this technology and making it a meaningful part of our businesses, we are brain dead. We are not keeping up already. This industry is moving so fast that even the fastest, most innovative companies on the planet couldn't possibly keep up. So, we're all here together, right at this inflection point. You can look at it two ways. You can look at it as a daunting, super steep curve. Never seen anything like it. All of the progress in AI in the next two years is gonna lap the last 30. Or you can look at it as a huge opportunity. And that's what I'm doing, and that's what we're doing at eBay. So how do you tackle it? The industry tends to group the themes or let's say the stages of ambition of AI into three general categories. Narrow, general, and super intelligence. And here's a few examples that kind of bring that to life, a little bit of how we're thinking about it at eBay. Narrow intelligence, perhaps most approachable by all of us. This is being great in a single domain. We're starting with some of those that we know best. eBay around the world is ground zero for sneaker collectors, sneaker heads, we have it all. From the original Air Jordan up to the latest Under Armour Steph Curry's and everything in between. And so collectors are often coming to our site, either professionals or somebody that just wants to get in the game and have a cool pair of sneaks. At eBay, we're applying our domain knowledge we're capturing it in software. We're training our AI against all of the aspects of what defines a cool sneak, but also when's the right time to buy, because we know when the supply and the demand are moving across our marketplace in almost 200 countries around the world, so that we can do all that work for you and not only find a sneaker that you're gonna love, but we're gonna find it in your size. That's getting great in a single domain. General intelligence starts to get a little more interesting. This is where we approach human intelligence. You have to marry to that, not just one single domain of expertise, but all domains. And then you gotta do something else on top of that. You've gotta bring the context of what we describe as world knowledge into the frame. If you look at this example here, this isn't somebody just asking for a pair of high heels. This is somebody describing going to a wedding in Italy in June, and they wanna know what to wear. So we need to understand maybe what you bought from us in the past that we could start with, and then 
what might be a good complement from the materials, the color, the style, and the brand of the shoe. And yes, it has to fit. But we need to know what the weather's like in Italy in June. We need to know what weddings are. We need to know where Italy is or what is Italy if you really want to answer that question in a way that no search engine can do today. And that's the beginning of artificial general intelligence. And we've built a product called ShopBot that does exactly that. And it's early days. I'm going to show you a little bit about it in just a minute. My favorite ambition, of course, is super intelligence. And this isn't as crazy as it sounds, but this is where we start predicting the products you want before they're even built, and maybe we even design them for you. Plenty of shoe companies today let you customize your Nikes or your Under Armors, made to order right on the website, super cool. Well, what if you had an AI that could actually do the designing for you, looking at all of the trends out there, maybe even beating the trends, and creating a one-of-a-kind shoe just for you? That's happening today. In fact, there are fashion houses in Japan that have hired a bunch of AI scientists to design the fall 2018 lineup. And in fact, some of those uh, ensembles were featured in runways uh, in Paris and in New York this year. And you'll see soon which ones were actually designed in software. It's amazing. Very hard to tell. So is any of this doable? Or is this all you know, just pie in the sky or left for just the most innovative technology companies? Well, let me be the case study. I had the opportunity to stand on stage at the very first shop talk, and I laid out a very simple framework for the future of commerce, planting three seeds. This was about a year and a half ago. And it was around AI, this crazy thing called AI, and how it just might finally be able to make commerce a little more personal. Distributed commerce, meeting your customers where you are, get off your website, get out of your app, and go where they're spending their time. And third, the cloud. This is where you get scalability and reach. And these are pretty big concepts. So here's what one to two years looks like from that day to now. We moved AI front and center in the company. It is a central focus to everything we do, and it's very, very close to our customer. We launched ShopBot. This was a culmination of many different aspects of AI, from computer vision, natural language understanding, conversational commerce, voice recognition, and more. And then we went out and got off our platform, and we partnered with Facebook Messenger and brought our billion-item catalog with the brains of an AI to one billion customers on Facebook Messenger. And we even made it easy for consumers to start selling on our platform. We partnered with Google to do it all, without a phone, without a computer, and without a screen. That's Google Home. And when we put all of this science together in a meaningful and simple way, and we put it in front of our customers, commerce starts to get a little bit smarter. Let's take a look at the video. Be a Canon camera with a zoom lens.
Hey Google, let me talk to eBay. Okay, here's eBay. I'm the world's price guide. You can ask me what something is worth. What's my iPhone 7 worth? Great. Is the item new or used? It's used. Which storage capacity in particular? 128. Your price ranges from $529 to $599. Have a nice day. You can do a lot in a year. It's not that daunting. You just got to make it a focus. You got to put it front and center in your business. That's what we did. And it's hard in a company like eBay with the inertia and the momentum we have chasing all sorts of things around the world. But this has been transformational for the company in so many ways. Um, if you think about what we built, most of that is sitting inside a conversation. It's inside a chat window, messenger. It can go anywhere. It's inside Google Home having a conversation with no screen. You know what's coming next. You know you want to get rid of your old iPhone. The new one's coming. This is the way to do it. And what's coming next is, surely these assistants can help us actually list and sell the item and maybe even find the best deal on the new one for us, all without ever taking a phone out of our pocket or going to our computer and lifting up our laptop and signing into the old way of shopping online. The curve is steep, but the opportunity is extraordinary. So, what are we going to do? We're going to start climbing, all of us. We're right at the precipice of a transformational inflection point, the mother of all industry inflection points. I'm telling you, in another year's time, somebody will be standing up here on stage talking about another run of incredible breakthroughs in just the last year. Talking about AI being pervasive, just look at this conference. Look how many tracks involve computer vision, augmented reality, artificial intelligence for your business, for retail, for marketing, for analytics. It's already pervasive here at Shop Talk. I say embrace it. Go to as many of those tracks as you possibly can and then go build something great. And I promise you, we will surely have something really interesting to talk about next year at Shop Talk 2018. Thank you for your time.